Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Two Teacher Tuesday. I, as always, am your host, Dr. Steven Zahm, and I want to start today off real quick by just wishing a happy Independence Day to everyone here in the States that's celebrating. Please be safe. Enjoy your fireworks and alcohol responsibly, and we'll all come come back together uh, safely afterwards. So, anyway, today's topic. Um, you know, a couple weeks back we talked about why you need to come to the dentist every six months or so for an exam and cleaning. We kind of talked about the exam part, but we didn't talk so much about the cleaning. And so, a common question we get is, you know. Why do I get this buildup on my teeth? I'm, I'm good at brushing and flossing, but I still get some buildup on my teeth, you know? And we throw around words like tartar or calculus, um, and that's, that's the main reason you see us for your cleaning is, you know, there's two basic types of buildup on your teeth. First one is plaque, which is kind of the soft, mushy, almost feels like moss if you run your tongue over your teeth. If you scrape it off your teeth, it kind of looks like, not to be gross, but cream cheese. Um, that's plaque. That's soft. It comes off pretty easily. You can get that at home. But what you can't get at home is the other type of buildup, which is calculus or tartar um, are the two names for it. And basically all calculus is, is just that same plaque that's sat on your teeth long enough that it's calcified. The calcium that your body naturally produces has hardened that plaque into that solid calculus that won't come off with your toothbrush. That's where you need our special dental instruments to clean that off your teeth. And you know, those are the, those are the instruments that people kind of have that nails on a chalkboard feeling that scraping sound. None of us like it, um, but it does get the job done. And I guess the best, uh, the best analogy I can use is you think of washing the dishes, which is something else none of us like to do, but you think uh, if you just finished eating and you take your dish right to the sink, you run some water over it, it'll get, it'll get the plate pretty clean. Um, that's essentially what cleaning the plaque off your teeth is like, but if you let that plate sit on the counter and all that leftover food hardens on the plate, just running water over that typically isn't going to get that, that food off the plate. That's where you have to get in there and really scrub it off and to get it really clean again. And that's the same idea with calculus. So that's, that's kind of the analogy of, of comparing washing the dishes to keeping your teeth clean. And so obviously the goal is to just like getting the food off your plate as soon as you're done with it is going to make it easier to uh, do the dishes. The same goal is do as much of your cleaning at home so that you get all that plaque off before it comes calculus. And then when you come in for your, your checkup, a lot of times there's not a whole lot of buildup for the hygienist to even clean off. Now, nobody's perfect. We all have a little bit of buildup that needs cleaned off. Um, we'd be out of business if, if we didn't. So, um, but do your best at home. It'll make your trips here for your regular checkups much, much easier. And yeah, that's why we do our periodic cleaning. So hope this makes sense. Thank you all again for all your support, your likes, comments, um, suggestions for future topics. Um, we'll keep rolling next week with we're just about finished up with our mini series on insurance. So we've got a couple more episodes of that to wrap up over the coming weeks. Um, but I look forward to seeing you on next week's Tooth Teacher Tuesday.